just when you guys thought that you knew something, right? And you realize that you don't know nothing. Hey, got 10 more for you, baby. The Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. 10 more features, right? How many does that make right now? 30? Hey, you better pay attention to this one, baby, because we're gonna rock and roll right now. Let's move. <laughs> the biggest secret here is whatever he's been drinking, but the first round is on me. See, developers options, and I'm going to show you how to get it because I know you can't find it. So go to settings, then scroll all the way to the bottom until you see about phone. Now, this is your secret door, so touch it. And then you'll see system information. Go ahead, touch that too. And what you're looking for now is build number. Now, this is tricky because you're going to have to tap it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six just like I just did, and enter your code to get into the developer's options. Now, see how it says developer's mode is now turned on, and I bet you didn't know that you can save all your apps on your SD card, or have custom ringtones in your Bluetooth headset, or even transfer files from your USB, huh? Well, that's what you got right now, and look, developer's option is at the very bottom right now where it wasn't there before, right? And if you unlock it, you'll be able to see a whole bunch of advanced features and settings that, you know something, if y'all treat me right, I might do another video and tell you everything about this advanced feature but for now let's go to the next secret and that is magnifier window now I bet y'all didn't even know that you had this option right so what you're gonna have to do is go to settings and then look for accessibility uh, I just gave you a clue right because it's really meant for people who have poor vision now what you want to do from there is go to visual enhancements and from there you just scroll up a little bit and you will see magnifier window now go ahead and hit that little button on the right and from there you will be able to turn it on now see how it says it will not be activated unless you have one-handed mode off and notice at the very top three buttons expand lock and close man I hope y'all are not having a difficult time seeing those and look what I just did blew the whole thing up you think you're gonna have any problem seeing this now I don't think so unless of course you're Stevie Wonder but you know something I really think he can see but anyway let's go ahead and tell you about this whole thing you see how I have it on my screen and I'm in Google right now checking out Mike Sykes YouTube channel and can you see clearly why you clicked on this video and as I move my background up and down notice that the magnifier is stationary but hey I can move it do you see what I just did just double tap on the resize button and you can move your magnifier anywhere on the screen you know something? I don't remember being able to do this on my iPhone. Huh. And all you have to do to get rid of it is hit that little X on the top right. But this thing's coming to bed with me tonight. Let's move to number three. Wallpapers and themes. Now this round is for all of you who've been asking me where did I get my wallpapers and my lock screens, right? Well guess what? I'm going to show you. And this is not a deep dark secret, okay? Go to settings. And then from there, you're going to look for wallpaper. Now once you get to wallpaper, all you have to do is to go to the very bottom. Now you'll see where it says explore more more wallpapers right now touch it and that'll take you into galaxy themes or you'll just have a huge abundance of featured and topped choices and notice at the top right there's a small magnifying glass where you'll be able to search for anything by name right so let's go see if we can find the one I'm using go to the very top and type in water drops black you see how it already populated because I searched for it before right and if you tap on it it will take you to a variety of similar wallpapers you see and the one I chose was at the top left downloadable for free and if you scroll through you'll see that there are just a variety of themes wallpapers icons and a whole bunch of stuff on here so now that you know how to get it I guess it's not really a deep dark little secret anymore is it and there are just an unlimited amount of customization options such as your color palettes and everything but you know you guys can go ahead and play around with it I'm sure you're gonna have a good time let's move on to the next one number four camera zoom now have you ever wanted your smartphone to have the functionality of a mirrorless camera well I have well guess what I'm gonna show you how to do it right now go find your little camera app wherever it is and touch it now see how mine just opened up and the objective here is for me to zoom in on that little battery that I just put down on the table now normally what you do is just take your two little fingers and then pinch and open up the screen so that way you can zoom in right you see that you see that little rayovac battery just pulling in just like that and to zoom out all you need to do is to take those two same little fingers and 
squeeze it so that way you can put it back to normal, right? Well, how about if I told you that you can zoom in or out without having to physically touch your screen? Want me to show you how to do it? Okay, let's go. So go to your camera settings and then from there you're going to look for shooting methods. Now touch it. And once you're in, you will see at the very top it says press volume key 2 and if I pull it in, you're going to see what it's for. My volume keys will allow me to take pictures or record videos, but did you know that I'll be able to assign it to zoom in and out also? You see right there on the very middle that all I have to do is just to select zoom and now my volume keys will zoom in or out just like a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera. How is that, huh? Very cool. And the philosophy for selling something is that you show, you don't tell. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Notice how I'm touching my volume buttons up and down and I can zoom in or out just like I would on an ordinary mirrorless or DSLR camera. Now this is a feature that a lot of people don't know about, but you know, you know about it because you heard it right here from Mike Sites, right? And there's something else that you need to know about that you can zoom in to that subscribe button on the bottom right side of your screen too, okay? Let's move on to number five, live caption. Now you remember we just did one to help you if you couldn't see, right? Well, how about this one? This one's going to help you if you have a hard time hearing. So let's go to YouTube again, Mike Sites, and figure out if we can see what he's got to say. You know, to let you know where I came from last year when I first started my YouTube channel to where I'm going next year, 2021. <laughs> now I didn't get that, so I'm going to press my volume button to show you a secret feature. Press that little arrow on the right side of your volume button and you'll notice a menu will drop down. And at the very bottom of that menu, you will see something that says live caption. Now if you go ahead and turn that on, you will see the text appearing at the very bottom when Mike Seitz is speaking. Am I right? 4,400 subscribers. And I would have never got there if it wasn't for you. That's right. And those are some words that I can see clearly. And on a quick note, this is only available in English. It doesn't use any mobile data or your internet connection. And when you're using this feature, it will automatically turn off your battery saver mode. You got that? So the next time you're watching a Mike Sykes video and you don't know what I'm talking about, hey, go ahead and turn that thing on. Number six, video wallpaper. Now this is a very cool feature because you know, I didn't know that I'd be able to have videos up to 15 seconds on my lock screen that is something that's just crazy. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Go to your apps and look for gallery. Hey, I didn't even need a magnifying glass to see this. Now once you tap on that, you're going to be able to see where all your videos are stored. Now I have a video that is 13 seconds long. Now remember what I told you, it cannot be over 15 seconds. So I'm going to take this video and put it on my lock screen. How do I do that? Easy. Touch those little three dots on the top right of your video and set as wallpaper. You see that? So don't forget Forget, this is a video that we're talking about, right? So once you do that, you will see at the bottom, it will say set on lock screen. Now I'm going to touch it and there I'm going to be able to have my video on my lock screen. And I already know that each and every time that I turn my baby off and set it to lock, that I already know that all I need to do is to hit that side button to get to my lock screen and I'll be able to see myself dancing with my beautiful Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. How about that? And speaking of dancing, why don't you dance your little fingers around that like button, okay? Smash it. Number seven, deleting photos. Now, how do we do that? And should that even be a question or even a secret feature? Well, you would be surprised at how many people do not know how to do this, but I'm going to give you something else in addition to showing you how to do that. And the real question here is not how do you delete one photo at a time, but how do you get rid of all of them? You see, all you have to do is just to touch the photo and on the bottom right, there's a little trash can. You can get rid of it, right? But how do you do all of them? You want me to show you? Tap and hold on one of the photos and you will see that you're able to just drag your finger across all of them and select everything at once and then all you have to do is to touch the little trash can at the very top and they're all gone. How about that? Number eight, flashlight dimmer. Now, I know you know how to turn your flashlight on and off, but do you know how to dim it or adjust the intensity of it? See, it's located at the very back in case you didn't know that. But anyway, all you have to do is to pull your screen down twice, pull it down, and then you're going to look for your flashlight, right? And there it is. Now, if you touch on the flashlight, it will turn your flashlight on or off. You see, that's very easy to do. But how do you dim it? 
Well, all you have to do is touch on the word flashlight and a menu will appear allowing you to set the levels from one to five. You see how I did that? So when you have your flashlight set to level one, then the intensity will be much lower. You see how it looks on mine? Now, if I bring it all the way up to five and turn it around, you will see that it got a lot brighter, right? Isn't that cool? So I bet you didn't know about that, did you? But you heard it here from Mike Sites, right? Number nine, clock style. Now, how do you change the style of your clock? Okay, isn't that a good question? Well, it's very simple. Let me show you how to do it because this is something that you probably would never find. Now go to your settings and then look for lock screen. Touch on lock screen and that will take you into another menu where you're looking for clock style. Now isn't that easy? Once you touch clock style, you will have two options at the very bottom, always on display and lock screen. I just selected always on display and you see, and now I have a variety of clocks that I can choose from to customize the look of my S20 FE. And also at the very top, you'll see where it says color right next to type, right? You'll be able to select the color of your clock also. Now this is a very cool feature if you have a matching case with it and you want to look super coordinated and cool, right? And speaking of cool, how about the last feature, new incognito tab. Now, this feature allows you to browse privately and it works with your internet browser such as Chrome. Now, don't get this twisted. Privately does not mean that you're invisible. What this means is that you are able to browse and all of the information, cookies and data that is stored is not stored in Chrome. It will be stored on a separate tab and that tab is called new incognito tab. And once you close this tab, all of the browsing history and all of the websites that you visited are no longer stored. So therefore, anyone picking up your phone to use it will not be able to see where you have visited. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to go to Mike Sites YouTube channel one more time just to see exactly what it is that we're talking about here with this new incognito tab. Now, if you notice at the very top left, that little incognito symbol is at the very top there. That means I have not signed out. So therefore, my browsing history will not be stored. Isn't that cool? And since you guys are checking out this guy's cool YouTube channel, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and check out the other videos that he has on the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Now, very impressive, okay, because you're going to learn a lot from these videos and there's more to come too, okay? I'm out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for letting me do this video for you. You know something? A lot of hidden features in this Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, right? Things that you didn't even know about, huh? Brought them out right here. But you know something? I don't think I can do another 10, do you? But if you think I can, go ahead and shoot me a comment. Let me know that you want 10 more. I'll see if I can dig deeper. But anyway, what do we always say? We live every day, right? We laugh beyond words, baby. And we learn. Peace, baby. I'll see you guys on the next one.